For cancer that is um, localized to the prostate or early stage cancer, this means that cancer is only situated within the prostate and has not spread. So the aim for such cases is to cure the cancer. So the two standard treatments that we have are either surgery to remove the entire prostate or radiotherapy which utilizes x-rays to kill the cancer cells within the prostate itself. So in terms of surgery, the standard of care nowadays is to do keyhole surgery using the robot. The benefits of keyhole surgery is that with small incisions, we can complete the entire surgery of removing the prostate and joining the bladder down to the urine pipe. So by using small incisions, the recovery is faster. Most patients stay for about two nights in hospital. Um, they get back to normal activities quickly. In addition, um, with the robot, with the magnified view, we, we can see clearly and dissect precisely and do a good you know, joining between the bladder and the urine pipe. So by using small incisions, the recovery is faster. Most patients stay for about two nights in hospital. Um, they get back to normal activities quickly. And so there is a lot of benefits to using the robot to do the surgery. In the traditional surgery, we would drop the bladder uh, off the anterior abdominal wall. So we tackle the bladder and prostate from on top in front of the bladder and the prostate. The problem with this approach is that once you drop the attachment of the bladder, the bladder is more mobile, it's less fixed in place, so that may contribute to worse um, urine control initially after surgery and patients may take a few months to recover. Because the bladder has been moved from its original position, it's much more mobile, we do see that after surgery, men may struggle to regain urine control. In fact, um, studies have shown that you know, some men may take a few months to recover, although by one year, only about 10% of men will still have urine leakage problems. The second downside for surgery is that um, because the nerves that control erection are beside the prostate, so when we remove the prostate, some of these nerves are damaged, so men may struggle to get good erections after surgery. In recent years, there are some modifications to the traditional robotic surgery. Uh, one of them is what we call red tears sparing surgery. Red tear sparing surgery is a modification where we do not drop the bladder, we actually tackle the prostate from um, behind the bladder. So it's a narrower view, I would say, and it's like operating on top instead of looking down, so it's more challenging. But the benefits is that because you do not disturb the bladder in its original position, studies have shown there is a significantly much faster urine recovery after surgery.